And so to today's on-field action. Dundee have not been out of the headlines since the start of this season. And between all the big transfer news and questionable discipline problems, they've actually put together something of a fine start to this campaign. They're unbeaten at Dens this season and today it was Motherwell who arrived to put an end to that particular statistic. Dens Park is becoming the most popular of the two Dundee stadiums and as the season progresses and it was Claudio Canigia's first home start of the season and it appears that Tayside fashions appear to have taken a rather surreal turn. You can hardly get your hands on a blonde wig at the moment on Tayside if you particularly want one. Here's what all the fuss is about at Dundee. Claudio Canigia has virtually doubled the attendance at Dens Park today as the former Argentinian World Cup star plays for the first time in front of his new home crowd. Canigia is in the starting lineup at the expense of young Stephen Milne. Jamie Langfield replaces the departed Rob Douglas in goal. Lee Wilkie's in for injured Stephen Tweed. And suspended Gavin Ray's place goes to Patrizio Bilio. Three Scots in the lineup. For Langfield, it's only his third top team appearance. And it's an all Argentinian strike force with Canigia alongside six goal Juan Sara. Two changes to the Motherwell team, which beat St Johnston 4 0 last weekend. Benito Kemble suspended. Ange Wayfew takes his place. The adaptable Stevie McMillan is struggling to remember what it's like to play at left back. He's filled in at centre back and today plays a midfield role. The referee for Dundee against Motherwell is John Fleming. So the match underway, and let's hope it lives up to its pre game billing. Kanija in from the start for Dundee for the first time, having made that scoring appearance last weekend at Petodri as a late sub. Good start for Lee McCulloch, shouldering Lee Wilkie off the ball. And there's the opening goal! 25 seconds gone and Stuart Elliott gives Motherwell the lead. That wasn't on the script. So much attention pre-match on the home debut of Kanija. And Motherwell with the perfect response. Good ball in from Adams and the header steered away from Langfield by Elliott. His fourth goal for Motherwell. One up. Morocco finds Sara. Good layoff for Kanija. Trying to get the ball under control. Fouled by Steve McMillan. Bilio trying to roll that one in behind the Motherwell defence for the Argentinian. Good try from Bilio. You could see exactly what the intention was here, but it ran away from the striker. Hamill for McCullough. Good knockdown for Spencer. Derek Adams now. Good start this from Motherwell. And it gets better. It's Elliot again. Two up and only five minutes gone. Great timing on the run from Elliot. Again, it was the Adams Elliot combination. Derek Adams supplying the ammunition. And what a blistering finish with his head that was from Elliot. Two goals already. Billy Davis couldn't have dreamed up a better start himself. Even he wouldn't have thought that his team might be two up with just a few minutes gone. Greg Strong's clearance. A miscue from McMillan. And Billy trying to link up with Artero unsuccessfully. Good flick from McCulloch again. Winning the aerial tussle with Demarkey. Wayfuse pass finds its way through to Spencer. Stuart Elliott. Demarkey fills for John Spencer. Another chance for Motherwell. It could so easily have been three. 
John Spencer doesn't need told. This was dangerous stuff from DeMarkey. He didn't get the ball clear at all. It fell into the path of Spencer, and that might well have been in the back of the net. Stuart Elliott's header back from Helio. Good clearance from Langfield. Chested down by Kanija for Bonetti, who took his eye off it. And this time that was his foul on Adams. Spencer, McCullough and Elliott all waiting. And Jed Brown decided on John Spencer. Martin Corrigan, early ball in, and almost for Elliott again. Times these runs very well. And he is a real threat coming in at that far post. This time Corrigan with the cross. And Elliott not far away. Laid off by Kanija for Bilio. And gets it back from Bonetti. Nice touch from Kanija, away from Wayfield. Chance to pull a goal back. Superb from Kanija. Dundee are back in business. And this a finish out of the top drawer. The mistake by Wayfield committed himself. He was a beaten man. Kanija had time to size up the opportunity. And that was a delicate finish over the head of Stevie Woods. 21 minutes played, and now 2-1. Well, the Wigs were looking a little bit flat for a while there, but they're bouncing again. Lee McCulloch's knocked down, and grabbed by Langfield. Here comes Juan Sara. Over the top, Dundee threatening again. Route one stuff. A big booming kick out from Langfield that deceived Greg Strong. That was a mistake by the defender and almost punished by Sara. Lee McCullough climbing high. Free kick given against him. Langfield's kick out, right through for Juan Sara. A couple of feet wide, another chance for Sara to square the game. And again, coming directly from a clearance from the goalkeeper, again misjudged by the Motherwell central defence. And Sara should have made it to each. Free kick given against Patrizio Bilio. It was a Dundee sandwich and Stuart Elliott was in the middle. Up to the edge of the area goes Greg Strong. Elliott's there alongside Spencer and McCulloch. In from Stephen Hamill. Up went McCulloch. It's John Spencer! Just wide. Good use of the set piece by Motherwell. Hamill found McCulloch, he found the knockdown. Spencer with time to get control of the ball on his chest and just a couple of feet away from drilling that one into the corner for number three for Motherwell. Pressure from Dundee right at the end of the first half. Bilio to Artero and he was heading for the byline. Kanija cleared by Adams. And that's the half-time whistle. It was meant to be the Claudio Kanija show, but no one told Stuart Elliott. And he'd opened the scoring after 28 seconds, then added a second. And although Kanija pulled one back, it's Motherwell who have the advantage at half-time. A stunning start from Motherwell, Derek Adams with the cross, 
And Elliott with the angled header. And Motherwell into an early lead. Then it was the same combination again after five minutes. Played in by Adams. Good delivery. Good timing on the run from Elliott. And the header directed away from Langfield. 2-0. It became 2-1 with this exquisite finish from Claudio Canigia. He's done it at the top level for Argentina so many times. And he's brought Dundee back into the game with that goal. They might well have squared it as well. Chances, two of them for Juan Sara, which didn't end up in the back of the net. And half-time at Dens Park, it's Dundee 1, Motherwell 2. Still to come, Leeds United are at Old Trafford. It's Newcastle versus Everton. And a full preview of St Johnston against Rangers. Motherwell's 4-0 win against St Johnston last weekend was just their second league victory of the season. It's been a pretty miserable start for Billy Davis and company. But if they can reproduce in the second half the way they started the first, then they could be in business with another three Premier points. Hamill looking for Elliott. Kept it in well. Nodded down cleverly by McCulloch for Spencer. And the first attempt at goal of the second half is not a great test of Jamie Langfield from John Spencer. That was Jed Brannan winning the header. McCulloch in pursuit. Wilkie in control. And DeMarkey's clearance. losing possession one field for Sara strong play skillful play as well from Sara back from Smith to Wilkie and he reckoned he was caught late by Stuart Elliott John Fleming, the referee, just telling Barry Smith that he saw what happened. DeMarchi, Sara, Bonetti to Morocco. Bilio has it. With you, under pressure against Morocco. That was a push. A free kick. Just outside the penalty box. We feel leaning into Marcelo Morocco. Over the ball is the manager Ivano Bonetti chipped up for Canigia, and that was a chance. Failed to get over the header. A little bit more elevation, and he's been able to steer this one down. Chance gone. too long to get rid of that now Spencer left by McCulloch and just wide from Stuart Elliott who takes up so many good positions again here he was lurking in behind McCulloch didn't get great contact and it spun wide long angle ball for Artero did well to get that back in out comes Stevie Woods he's lost it Canija and Sara, a glaring miss. Golden chance that one to make it 2 all for Sara. Well set up here. Mistake by Woods under pressure from Juan Sara. And he really should have been hitting the target from eight yards out. Set up by Canija, but he was leaning back and it sliced away and over the top.
Good play from Kanija. Kanija! Absolutely brilliant. And what a good save by Stevie Woods. It had to be good. That would have been one of the goals of the season. Took it right from the touchline. Nobody could get close to him from Motherwell. Searing pace. A terrific shot. And that was a top quality save to deny Kanija by Stevie Woods. With you for Goodman. Finds Spencer. Tansley. Infield to Brannan. Hamill up to Goodman again. Elliott. Who got off to that lightning start. Townsley's header. Spencer. John Spencer hits the deck. Don Goodman has a chance. Well saved by Langfield. The danger's not over. It is now. Well, that was almost Comet Keepers in the penalty box there. Firstly, lovely bit of skill from John Spencer, which got the better of DeMarkey. Down went Spencer looking for a penalty. Play on, said the referee. Goodman foiled by Langfield. And then the chance popped up for Stuart Elliott. And knocked away fairly unconvincingly by Barry Smith. Carranza, good ball over the top of Elliott's head for Barry Smith. Elliott did enough to ensure the ball didn't reach the danger area. Carranza again, and DeMarkey, it runs through for Morocco. Still Marcelo Morocco. Nemzadze into Sara. Forcing his way through Juan Sara. Almost by brute strength, getting his way through there. And another will have to take desperate measures to get that away. Barry Smith in a hurry to get on with it. Romano squeezing the pass through to Carranza. Off Brana. Corner kick. Billy Davis wants no mistakes from Motherwell in these closing stages. They've got themselves into a winning situation. Now they've got to hold out. Corner kick from Kanija. There's Morocco. What a good effort that was. Touched over the top by Stevie Woods. Twice he's denied Dundee, both times in spectacular style. First one from Kanija. That was heading in as well from Morocco. Good goalkeeping from Woods. Corner kick again. Kanija with it. A fair bit of naughty stuff going on in the penalty box. But John Fleming decides it's six of one and half a dozen of the other. Greg Strong and Lee Wilkie involved there. Another corner kick for Dundee, keeping the pressure on. That was aimed at Kanija. Nicholas knocks it away. Morocco to Romano. It's away by Elliott. It's Morocco again. Here's Kanija. And Sara with the header. Another chance for Juan Sara. This was a chance set up by Kanija. They had downward header, but straight at Woods. And down the field, Nicholas fouled by Carranza. We're into a second minute of stoppage time. And Derek Townsley takes the ball to the corner flag. To try to kill some time. Cleared by Strong. Wilkie won a good header. He was being fouled by Stephen Nicholas. Nicholas knocking the ball away 
as Dundee prepared to take it. And Jamie Langfield ushering everyone forward for Dundee. There won't be too many more chances to salvage something out of this game. Straight through it goes to Steve Woods, a good take. And this could be a chance for Motherwell to tie things up. Stephen McMillan through the middle, with Dundee committing a lot of players forward. That looked like a foul by Wayfew on Sara, not given. Jed Brown knocks the ball down into the corner. And Langfield again in a hurry. to get the ball down the other end. We've played nearly three minutes of stoppage time, just a minute left. Wilkie again for Langfield. Wayfew's header away. Townsley to Goodman. And Motherwell have a free kick. Townsley to Goodman. Not much interest from Motherwell other than in wasting some time. And in the process, Goodman manages to win a corner kick. Off DeMarkey. And four minutes of stoppage time are now up. Goodman to Townsley and it's not attractive but for Motherwell it's seeing out the closing seconds of this match and they certainly want to hang on they've lost it there and now Kanija last chance for Dundee Barry Smith looking for Juan Sara headed away by Wayfew manager Bonetti Gets it back from Morocco. That's the full-time whistle. And Motherwell have won two league games on the trot. And a lot of credit goes to Stevie Woods with two stunning second-half saves. Firstly from Claudio Canigia, then from Marcelo, Morocco. And Stevie Woods as much a hero for Motherwell as Stuart Elliott whose two early goals end up being decisive. Two in the first five minutes of the match, two headers from Elliott, both from Derek Adams' crosses. And despite the Dundee comeback, that's enough to give them the points. Claudio Canigia pulled one back. It was something special as well. But they missed good chances. Juan Sara in particular passing up opportunities for Dundee. That allied to the goalkeeping of Stevie Woods meant that Motherwell, who took so long to rack up their second league win of the season, have quickly added a third at Dens Park. It was meant to be the Claudio Canigia show, but it's Stuart Elliott who makes the headlines here. Motherwell winners by two goals to one. Billy, a lot of people, a lot of people came here for the Claudio Canigia show, but it didn't turn out that way. Great start from Motherwell. Yeah, it was a great start, Rob, and uh, a wonderful performance and a wonderful result because, as you say, there was a, a lot of hype up here today with the Canadia and a big crowd and what have you, but we showed our character, we showed uh, what we're all about, and at the end of the day, a magnificent result. Um, fortunately enough, I got two early chances and I was able to um, stick them away, um, take a bit of pressure off us. Uh, he got a super goal himself, and uh, but happily enough, we were able to hang on and get, the, get another three points. Yeah, after five minutes, we, we were down to nil, but uh, I think uh, we had a few chances. We scored a wonderful goal by Claudio, and then we had a few chances, but uh, we made a um, few mistakes in front of the goal, and then um, it was a bad day today. <laughs> and then uh, it was a bad day for us, for the referee, too. And then uh, this has happened because he's human, and we carry on. I felt we could have scored one or two more goals as well, and, and overall, you know, I, we, I felt we thoroughly deserved to win the match because we, we, we fought very well, we battled every, every inch of the park. 
and uh, we created a lot of chances and you know, just delighted with the performance. Do you feel as if the confidence in the dressing room is beginning to return in the last couple of games? Because yeah. obviously results haven't the been going Motherwell's way. The confidence never really was lost, you know. It's just that we're, if you look at our tapes or, or look at the goals we've given away, it was just unfortunate, some of them. Um, we're unfortunate not to take wins when we got a draw or a defeat. And we just we knew the tide would turn if we just kept working hard and the managers were keeping on at us. And, and thankfully, as I say, we're, we're pushing ourselves back up that table again.